starting this. All right. We working? All right. It looks like it's working. Just give me one moment. Yeah, no problem. I have to um go ahead and. Uh, oh, I see the overlay. That's pretty. Yeah, it's it's just a simple one, but I'm gonna try um. I'm gonna try dragging me into yeah. the window. Or? Yeah, I'm gonna set this up just uh take just a little bit. So when you put focus on the Terraria window, won't that put my video behind it? Um, yeah, but uh, actually, um, I, I can fix that real quick. Um, give me one moment. I'm gonna go ahead and select a region here. Um, okay, select region. That is not the region I want to capture. So give me one moment. Monitor two for some reason. Select region. Hold on. My skills with a mouse have apparently grown poor in my old age. <laughs> Okay, enter, and um, here we go. Look at it. Going to be on a bit of a time lag in the stream. Yeah, that's all right. Luckily, I had the foresight to mute it though. And this is going to suck, um, but it's. Oh, there I am, right over top of you. Almost, yeah. Yeah, uh, I've I'm working on this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't. Apparently, I oh, fail at um, ratios off. <laughs> yeah, I fail at aspect ratios. So, um, <sighs> all the little things, but at least we have the basics working here. Yeah, so, it looks all right to me. Did a letterbox and never hurt anyone. Gonna go ahead and actually um, blow this up a little bit and then uh, crop it a bit. It oh. takes takes a little adjusting to. Um, I know there's a way to crop this. Do not tell me. This is one of those things where I'm going to be sitting here trying to jack with a fucking thing all day. <laughs> um, oops. Not bad. Yeah, that's not what I needed to do here. So um, I'm just sitting here watching you fuck with it. Yeah, this is going to be... Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. You sure there's a way to crop it? Oh, there is. There is. I just need to, you know, stop failing so hard. That would help. There we go. And uh, this should uh, pop it up. Boom! Still not perfect, but it's going to be close enough. Oh, well, fuck it. I can, I can sort that shit out later. You are going to need my IP address. Yep, I sure am. Okay, I think I can send it to you. <coughs> and then I can just go ahead and... I'll just message it to you on IRC. Alright. And that's going to be interesting because it's going to pop up and... Uh... Control. The server's running. There we go. And everything should be uh, set up now. Perfect. Close enough. <laughs> now this is going to go here. I actually found my old save files. And oh, that's pretty cool. Maps and everything. That's cool. Although I suspect things have changed enough to... Um, Oh no, these were ones from just a few weeks ago. Oh, okay, cool. And I have like, the end game armor, all the hard mode shit. I'm gonna turn the sound pretty, pretty far down so I can hear myself think. Yep. <sighs> I have not played this in so long. I'd say well over a year and a half. Yeah, it's it's changed a bit, mostly uh, just uh, cosmetically. Okay. Well, 
I'm going to start chopping down trees while you show up. Oh my Christ, this takes forever. Alright. And, uh, I should be in. Yeah, there you are. And now I have to figure out how to play this game again. Okay. I'm going to announce live stream right now for those who want to watch. I don't know how much wood we need, but I'm going to go ahead and take just about all of it. Except this time I'm not going to be an idiot and just get rid of all the acorns. Alright. Oh. Why is it that I sit down and then people call? Give me a moment. Yeah, no problem. Hello, what's up? Alright. Alright, sure, no problem. I'll, I'll go ahead and keep that in mind next time, alright? Alright, let's go. Bye. Now to get everything back, set back up, and um, how do you get that map in the top right corner? Um, that was um, you know I would tell you, except that I have no idea myself. I believe that there's a mini map option. Hmm. I'll have to check that out later. <coughs> Settings, map controls. Toggle map style. Um, yeah, there's got to be a mini map thing in there. Anyway, maybe under general? Yeah, maybe I'll fuck with it in a bit. Yeah. Oh no! God damn it! It exited me com. That slime was just about to kill you. Yeah, it ex <laughs> kicked me completely off. So here we go. All right. God, it's been forever since I played this. Okay. I don't even remember what I've got. The actual beds built and everything. I'll just build a little platform here to spawn on. Because if you try to build the house around it, you'll blow a hole in the house when you show up. Oh, okay. It's really annoying. We're okay, this is. I spent hours and hours putting this house together. Right where the spawn was, thinking it'd be all convenient and stuff. And we spawned and we promptly just blew a giant hole in the wall. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'll let you go ahead and get that settled, and I'm going to try and figure out how to play the game a little bit. Sure thing. Okay, that still opens that. I was hoping there was some sort of... Um, Oh, hey, we got copper. I don't know if they upped the, uh... Upped the various, uh, ore spawns, but, um... Yeah, and the sad part is, is it this resolution, I can barely see this shit. Really? Yeah, my... Um, t 1080, but, um... My eyes are shot, so. Oh, brutal. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm sitting about three feet from the screen. Maybe if I um Still move this, yeah, move this stuff a little bit closer. Okay. That is a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, I got all the old man problems kicking in. <laughs> Slimes are persistent. 
I have a bunch of stuff and I'm just trying to flatten this whole area out. Yeah, before nightfall at least. Should have enough wood to get us our shelter. I've got um Apparently I only have 29, so that'll... Well, I've got enough to build the house then. So. Where do you want to put it? Just up here somewhere? or? I was thinking I'd put it right, at, right near the spawn or just... Uh, that'll work. Flatten that area out. Yeah, okay. Oh good, the guide fell in the hole. Maybe it's... <laughs> kind of wall him in. I tried doing that once. Doesn't work. Just respawns? Yeah, he'll eventually just, like, if you leave the area, he'll just warp back. Okay. Oh, uh, one of the new things is you can use the hammer to actually shape blocks. See how oh! This is your ramp here? Oh, neat. Alright. Yeah, that is... You set it to all the different angles and corners and stuff, so you can cool. all your edges and stuff. Really pretty. Yeah, it's a vanity technique that, uh... Oh, crap. I'm gonna just piss people off and leave the stumps there. Actually, if you rip them up, I can use the acorns I've gotten to uh, replant them. Okay. One of the things I noticed late game is you really start running out of wood and wishing you'd replant it as you'd go. Oh, yeah. Well, I have some. I go ahead and uh, plant some up here. Here, a nice little ramp got going on here. Perfect. See if we can go all out and get wood floors and everything. Okay. Looks like it's getting night time. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hustle. Alright. Stick a door on the right side there. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it would be handy if we transported that workbench back and forth. I have no idea if uh, lights were still an uh, issue. Come on, okay, there we go. And of course I fail at that. Ah, okay, here, a pickaxe now. Yeah, it takes a bit of doing. Alright, need two doors. I'll go ahead and make some walls. <coughs> oh man, so many new items. Yeah, there's tons of cool shit you can do now. I'm lagging just a little bit because I've got so much stuff going. Oh crap! Well, that's all right. I'll He's fix that. Chat saying I'm quiet. I'm chatting plenty. We need more torches. Uh, oh, I've got a couple. But yeah, we're gonna need a shitload of them.
Ah. <laughs> okay. Rest in peace, bunny. <laughs> All right. <sighs> now just and basically. Also, torches can be placed on walls. Like that. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. Rather than have to, we used to have to leave little, little divots every five, five places to um, do that. Hmm. He's gonna tear that guide apart. Hopefully. Not over there. It's dark. I can't see it. Okay. Well, at least we'll last the night. Yep. Ooh, campfire. That's what we need. Yeah, I have no idea how to make that stuff. Damn it. <laughs> Gotta be right in the middle. Perfect. There we go. I think I accidentally made this house perfectly symmetrical. Ha! Thank God. I can make some uh, random stuff here. What we need to start getting to maybe kill these guys. It takes forever. Pickaxe is pretty low kickback though, so you're just gonna keep them in front of you. That's cool. I'm just uh... lenses. You can make fancy looking goggles. I think they give you like all of one defense, but they look cool. Nice. Boom. All right, I gotta check this. Some somebody's dinging at me. Okay. And it cuts the music out. How pleasant. I have no idea why this thing consistently cuts uh cuts the uh, music out when I've tabbed out. None of the other sound effects. Wow, it's like a meteor shower right now. Oh, you know what? I should be collecting. These mushrooms. Oh shit. I am lost in the dark. Um. Damn it. Well, there's only two ways to go, so. I'm not really lost, I can barely see. These mushrooms I was collecting, bunches of them. Well, there were anyway, before I took them all. Yeah. yeah, I think I have something like 30 or 40 of them. Yeah. They're good starting out. The problem is, wandering around in the dark like this is pretty damn risky. So used to being able to just double jump whenever I want. <laughs> With the uh oh crap. I need to figure out how to get out of here. Oh, over there. Alright. <laughs> Alright. See then. to make a proper broadsword instead of this little shiv I got going on here. <laughs> oh man. I can't even figure out how to make the uh oh I need stone, don't I? I For don't the, think uh... you can make stone items anymore. I think the next tier is copper now. Okay, well how changed at some point. How do you smelt copper? Uh we need a furnace which is stone and some other stuff. I think it's okay. stone and a campfire. Alright, so we do need stone. Yeah, I need something like 20 stone. Found a little chunk of it here. Hmm. 
because once we're able to properly smelt the ores, we can go hunting for them. Christ, they hit hard. I don't remember them hurting this bad. No armor. Yeah. We can make wooden armor. Yeah. I'm not sure how well it does. Probably better than nothing. But, uh... Yep. Yep. I don't know, I'd almost re rather have nothing than be wearing wood. Alright, that's 29 stone, I think. Just lighten this up. Campfire. No, oh, I got to be near work then. Ow. What can I build now? Furniture, fences. There we go. Furnace. Perfect. Solves that problem. New texture on the furnaces too. Oh, nice. Let's see, copper bar. I've got some iron too. Not a whole hell of a lot, but <laughs> let me guess anvils are like uh just a bunch of iron. <laughs> uh yeah, anvils. I thought you said animals. No. Uh anvils Anvils are like yeah. Load of iron. Okay. I got five, so. Forget how to build a chest. Oh, I got an anvil right here. Boom. Alright. Do I have to put it by the forge or by the workbench? Um. Take the, um, okay, I just totally ripped out a chunk of wall by mistake. You stick it by the, there. Okay. And honestly, you should probably take the workbench and move it over as well. There we go. There. They're a lot more convenient there. A couple awkwardly placed chairs, no problem. Stick a table between them later. Mm -hmm. I've got enough. I could probably. Ooh, here we go. Copper sword. Wood, but it'll have to do. Hmm. Well, apparently the wood actually, the wood armor provides some small bonus. So here I am, all stacked up. Looking fucking ridiculous. I think if we take... If we find uh, sand, we can make glass bottles. So we put the glass bottle on a regular table and it becomes an alchemy lab. And then we can use mushrooms and other weird reagents to make uh, potions and stuff, which is super helpful. Okay. Sorry, I'm managing some things here. Yeah, no problem. Boom. Alright, almost daytime. Yeah, there's no more stone tools, I'm pretty sure. You start with a copper pickaxe and axe. Yeah, I, I noticed that, at least.
Here we go. The sword hits a lot harder. I figure the house is pretty much good as it is right now. We'll have everything we need in it anyways. Right. So now we just kind of uh, get more resources, I guess. Yeah. That's the long and the short of it. As boring as it is, I am going to have to cut some more wood. I'm running a bit yep. short. I'll figure out a good place. Traveling outward. Yeah. Because then you find the cool stuff, you get the chest, <coughs> the items and stuff like that. I see a cave right here, so I'm gonna... I think I've got iron here, too. Okay, we've got corruption. Maybe two screens to our right. Oh. That's really annoying. But also kind of beneficial because the first bosses we have to fight are in the corruption. Okay. So we don't have to go that far. No. And... But once we hit hard mode, if and when we do, uh, that corruption will spread pretty quickly and we'll have to probably elevate our base at least uh, a couple squares off the ground so the corruption won't spread into the wood. Oh no, wood isn't corruptible. But it would spread to basically anything else. Well, that's Could uh, put some. Oh god, we got the monster, the face monsters and shit right on top of us. Oh hell! Oh Christ! Oh god! Running away! You gonna lead them back, I guess? <laughs> yeah, I'm kiting them. <laughs> <laughs> shit! Shit! There's a fucking billion of them. That's the worst spawn ever. Oh yeah, here he comes. I haven't seen any of the new bosses, so um. Well, these aren't really... Yeah, these are just the mobs. Okay. And I think this guy can't pass through doors. Are we banking on that? Yeah, no, he's just poking at the walls. Good. Stay there. I don't think these guys drop anything cool. They're weird, like, trilobite-looking things. Oh, they drop vertebrae. Those are used for something. I can't remember what. Well, fuck that corruption. I'm gonna move left. <laughs> I am just gonna dig straight down here and. Uh... Oh, fuck the. Oh, chest. Perfect. I can bring that into the. Okay, perfect. Where I raid it. Loot. What do we got? Ooh, a spear. Handy. Uh, six copper bars, some rope. Healing potions, coins, and a teleport potion. Awesome. I have no idea how to work those, so... Oh, it's all pretty simple. Okay. Like the teleport potion, you just equip it to your hotbar and use it as you would any other item? Is it just random? No, you oh, no! Back to your, uh, spawn. Sorry, there's a... I can hear you getting... Yeah, there's a slime. Decided to take a uh, take a look to see what I was doing. And wow, the spear catapult slime. And there's corruption to our left as well. Fuck me. That is not very good. And 
and um, that is bad. It keeps uh, okay. This bitch shit, son of a bitch. I'm gonna die. Holy fuck. Well, I may have accidentally constructed a little bunker to fight these things off from. I am so lucky I found this spear. <coughs> Just, uh... You know, it occurs to me that if I do this and actually get, um... actually get people looking into this thing I need to start connecting to the server before I start broadcasting and I'm dead okay so we have corruption like four or five screens to our left and maybe two or three screens to our right oh hell so and there's only like two corruption biomes per map in a small world like this one so basically sandwiched between them yeah we're in a really really bad spot right now. Awesome. I like a little adversity. <sighs> well, with that in mind, I think our only solution is to go downward. Yep. Pick up a couple rope coils for easy elevators. Oh wow, we already got tons of cool stuff. I'm going to place that chest in our base for storage too. Okay, good. I have no idea how to make elevators, so... Um... Oh, like, when it comes time to make actual, legit elevators for real business, uh, we'll be much okay. further along. I will place a campfire for us to... Punish our health without using up our potions. It looks like eventually we are going to start needing a second floor. I am kind of filling it up with stuff already. But uh, you can find items called rope, and they come in... Uh, they look like just little vertical columns of rope, and they just fall off of random, uh, random mobs. Okay, I think I actually might have a couple. You can craft them into rope coils. And it takes 10 to make one unit of rope coil. And a rope coil is a throwable item that follows a really long arc. And when you get it to uh, stick to a, a horizontal surface, like the bottom of a horizontal surface, it'll actually create a hanging piece of rope that you can then attach another rope coil to. Oh, cool. So you walk over one of those and hold up or down, and your guy will have this little uh, gear cog mechanism on his back that just okay. hooks him up or down. All right, that sounds uh, interesting. I'll have to. Uh... So you make about a billion of those, and you use them to make elevators. So oh, nice, nice. Easier than the whole uh, platform thing I'm used to. Oh yeah, absolutely. They're a little hard to come by, but they're definitely handy. I've got like a uh, 86 rope right now. Yeah, make those into coils. Save yourself some inventory space. I am going to initiate a reforestation effort and then try to start mining someplace. Okay. <sighs> I'm just kind of uh, digging a shaft down and. Um... Oh, wow, yeah. I can see that. I completely forget how I used to do this, so. Where is that shaft? Um, it is just past the, uh... Um, it's, it's not more than a couple screens left of the base. Okay. You just go through the, uh, the, uh, tunnel thing and, um... It's right there. This'll be suited for a break room or something. Finding some kind of cave down here. No, oh, no, dead end. Yeah, I kind of started digging when I saw a cave, and um, it turned out to be very small. So. Okay. 
Wow. I'm going to get down to about here and then start branching out. <laughs> Basically looking for any sort of ore whatsoever. Yeah, we're pretty high up, so we're still gonna be on the dirt layer for a while. Yeah. Still copper should be uh Oh, I think I found a cave here. That'd be nice. Forever to rip this stone off. Oh yeah, look at that little cave system here. Let's see where this leads. Uh, fucking nowhere. Awesome. Well, at least now you know. I'm just digging vertical shafts. Figure I'll fill them in. Oh, what is this? Some kind of bioluminescence. Oh, it's the demon altars from the corruption. Oh. Uh, it's really annoying that the corruption's on either side yeah. like this. That's really annoying. Just don't bust into them and... Well, you can't. You need a, a certain tier of hammer now to do that. Hmm. Okay. It's, no. Uh, oh, no. It's the, um, you know, the demon altars and the in the corruption areas there's pulsating hearts. And when you crack one of those, it has to be done with the uh, pone hammer, which right. only drops off the wall of flesh, and killing the wall of flesh initiates hard mode. Okay. For every for every heart you destroy, <coughs> a maximum of three, it'll spawn a new type of uh, ore in your world. So okay. You have it spawn the hard mode ores. All right. See, all of that was added since the last time I played. So. Oh yeah, no, it's all. All different. I'm just going down and down and down until I hit something. I guess it's one of the advantages of a um, of a 2D tile world is that adding content is a little bit uh, can be a little bit easier. Yeah. Because in all that time. Cobwebs. Cobwebs are handy. We need those to make silk. To make yeah, I think they did have that when I was playing. So. Yeah, yeah, that was still a thing. Yeah. Boom. Um, let's see. Ooh, it's a big cave system. Yeah, I'm getting nothing but dirt. Boom. I have some kind of ore here. Iron. Quite an extensive system of caves here. Where are you at? Uh, just to the right of the house. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and natural um... cave that I sort of busted open and went to see how far it went. Okay. Alright, this leads to an underground water system, and if D&D has taught me anything, it's that you don't fucking go in there if you don't know what the hell's at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Still going straight down, I haven't hit anything. Yeah, no, I, uh, I sort of fiddled around until I found, uh... Oh my god. There's a great... Oh, it's sand. That's why. Jesus Christ. I think there's a lot of good stuff down there. I'm seeing um, something glowing in the distance. I think it's the uh, the water. Corruption. Looks more like um, jellyfish kind of thing. So. Oh, it might be. Trying to get here. Try to use these rope coils. Make a kind of elevator. I think I'm gonna try and get down there. Hmm. 
and you can suspend yourself from the uh, rope ladders and use other objects and stuff. You don't have to hop off of them before you use them. Oh, nice. Alright, I'm going to grab a whole bunch of sand, because glass is very useful to make all kinds of neat things. i got a huge deposit of copper here, too. Sounds like, um... Should be set for the low-end stuff. Just about. The iron is when you're actually, uh... When you can be a little more cocky. Okay. Once you get all the iron gear... Because that's the first upgrade to pickaxe you'll have. Is oh, the... yeah. And that's when things get a little quicker, a little bit easier. Your DPS goes up enough that zombies aren't an actual troublesome thing to worry about. <laughs> and from the reading I've been doing, the wisdom is that, given the choice, you upgrade your weapon before your armor. Okay. Well, yeah, because um, faster to kill stuff. Is it nighttime up there, or um? I don't know. I'm not on the surface. Yeah, me either. In fact, I'm gonna be hard pressed to make my make my way back up there after I'm done playing around in here. Don't lose all the stuff down there. Or you don't have it in you don't have it in hard mode. Yeah, it won't be hard mode. And this rope coil stuff is super handy. And you can throw. Like, if you want to create a long column of it, you don't have to throw one piece to the bottom of the first piece. You can throw it in the same spot, and it'll just extend the initial, uh... Oh, nice. I'll have to play around with that in a little it's bit. It's super useful. I'm being really stingy here and actually collecting my torches that I don't need. Hmm. I think there's more stuff down here. All that sand makes me nervous. If you crack that open in the wrong spot, you're dead. Yeah, I've done that before. I've got some sort of variation down here. Mostly stone, but... Yeah, I got a... I think I see a cave. In there. I'm definitely seeing a cave, and I got a music change, so... Okay, I just found the uh, glowy mushroom layer here. I'm going to see if I can make my way over sideways to that, and grab some of those glowing mushroom seeds, because those are super helpful. Because if you can make a farm out of those, you've got effectively unlimited health potions. I think I see doom coming my way down here, so um, I'm gonna tunnel down into there anyway. What do you see? Doom? Just a, a cave opening up right beneath me. Oh. But I'm gonna tunnel into it anyway. Yeah, go for it. Worst case scenario, you die, lose a couple coins. Oh, that's one thing I should have done but didn't. Um, before you set out, if you really want to save all your money, just throw it in the chest before you go. Oh, yeah. That way when you die, you're not losing all your stuff. Well, I see more cobweb. It's always nice. I see sand and I see uh, water, so... Not a huge cave, though. I'm in a holy shit fucking huge cave system here. Can't do that. Oh god. Shit. Oh, there's a heart piece too. Wow. 
That was a huge fall. I need to go straight back there. I found a heart piece and a massive empty cave system. Okay. It's nighttime upstairs currently. Okay. Will, however, drop off all this sweet loot I found. 40 copper ore. I'll have to refine that. 11 iron. I'm having no luck with ore. No? Nope. I got zombies falling on me, though. Alright. I will make a chain in case I find a hook. I can make a grappling hook. Huh. Oh man, I've got to stop coughing into the mic. <laughs> Not as bad as yesterday, though. So I've got a spear in the uh, chest that I don't okay. need anymore. And enough copper bars to make a copper broadsword that actually makes the spear obsolete. I think I'm going to be uh, heading up there to check it out shortly. Okay, I got to uh, pass the uh, pass the change boundary. I'm just making your way further in there. Yeah. Oh crap! Well, that's me falling. Glass would be nice. Oh, so okay. So this crafting stuff in bulk. Yeah. Hold down the right mouse button. Oh yeah, I've I've got that. Yeah, yeah, I've got that. I remembered that after a little bit. Yeah. I got down to the part where the background no longer counts to plant stuff on. So. A couple bottles, handy. One of those. On top of. Table. Can I still make it out? Can I still make it out? No, I can't make it out anymore. There, I think we can do some star in a bottle can be placed. Star in a bottle do. I do need to make a bow because I got about 200 arrows. Okay. And of course I lack the materials. Hmm. Yeah, I am definitely pushing my luck down here. Just it's one of those ones where you should I should be going to the surface to uh, you know get stuff that doesn't suck quite so bad. <laughs> but I keep. Keep pushing downward. God, I'm fucking bad at this game. There we go. Well, I'm gonna hang out by this campfire until I'm back to full health, so I don't use all my precious mushrooms. Alright. I've just been fortunate not to take that much damage yet, so... Yeah. I'm sure it's thrilling people to see me just tunnel through mud for 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> I got somebody waiting for me to roleplay back on Ark 2, and I'm just kind of not too excited about um, about the scenario. No. Uh, playing, she wanted me to play one of my goblins. I'm like, don't particularly feel like him right now. <laughs> That's all right. Shit, I've only got nine wood. This, oh, I used all my wood making fucking arrows. That was stupid of me. Oh, you can walk up these, like, steps now. Okay. Walk up what? 
Oh, when you've got, uh, like literally when it's only one step uh, removed, you used to have to jump over it, and now you can just walk oh, over yeah, it. No, you can, uh, it's nice. It's very nice. Alright, falls still hurt. <sighs> Hiking my way back to the base. Didn't quite make that. Broadening all my chest three blocks wide so I can create a little hop left, hop right egress system. Okay. Because I didn't bring any wood with me. And I really want to find that heart piece. Those are pretty valuable early on. Oh, definitely. Oops. The water is so much better in this version. Used to be it took forever to update. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember crashing a server doing that. I think I was the one that crashed the server doing that. Yeah, I believe you were, yeah. Here I can. Stupid sandworm squidging around somewhere. Sitting here frantically swinging my horde hope sword, hoping I hit him. Anyway, from the base, you can see that little cave off to the right there. Uh, it's a bit of a sharp drop that you can survive that first shaft. But okay. Oops. You'll have to get a little creative with the second one. Nah, oh, fucking bats. Get out of here. Give me those coins. I'm going to kill my video for a sec. Sure. Oh, shit, getting killed and I got a handful of baby. Stupid bats. Fuck off. Close now. Sorry, I'm just distracted with family right now. Oh, no problem. Wait. No! <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> All right. I even saw that coming. Actually, uh, your gravestone landed just above me. <laughs> no, I was building a rope down and I misclicked. Oh. Uh, okay. Run into a problem. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Aha. Alright. Starting to get somewhere. 
There you go again. <sighs> I'm guessing I'm making a real impact on this stone. So. Har har. <laughs> hey, 20 more health. Perfect. Let's see. Yeah. Wow, this cave system goes extremely deep. I am all out of... Oh, it goes into the rock layer. I am all out of stuff to make scaffolding with. Picking up from my broken body here. And... Okay, so I've made it more or less safe to this point. So you can come down here. Kind of sketchy coming off this uh, okay. elevator here. I'm even going to pick up those two pieces of rope. You just walk off as you hold down. And then I've got platforms just below that that you can drop yourself down into. Right, nice. After here, oh. yeah. After here, it gets a little sketchy. You can walk off and slide down to a point, but then that stops. And I think I'll actually create a little, uh, little barricade here. Whoops! Oh, there it goes. <laughs> God damn it! No. Oh. No, we can't drop through here. I've dropped like three coils of rope down there. Yeah, you gotta throw it at the top of the coil. Or right there, apparently. And you can keep throwing until it stops, because... Well, I'm out of... I'm out of... I'm out of rope, yeah. Okay. Except for the ones that I threw down there. Hmm. I've got another one. Um, do some risky business and build I got a staircase. A, I got another one, but I'm gonna wait on it. Yeah, I'd hang on to it. We can make do with the staircase. Then. Might as well. Jesus, this is huge. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh shit. Silver. Because silver might make such great armor. Oh crap. Okay, yeah, the spear is going to take some getting used to. I've got enough um, dirt, so. Oh, there you go. Do you live? Oh man, skeletons are rough. <coughs> oh shit. 
Ah. 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 Well, that's one way to clear out headphone users. Oh, you can't you can't hit shit through walls anymore. Guess not. No. Oh. Yeah, I hate the spear. All right, and take a break for a moment. Oh, the joys of using natural lighting for, uh... Oh. Yeah, that was not a safe place to AFK at. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, I have no idea where Alex is right now, so... Sorry, I had my. Uh, hey, no, no problem. no problem. Just uh. Hey, it struck gold. Oh, cool. Seeing what I can piece together with my uh. The few things that I managed to salvage from down there.
<laughs> oh, wait, there's a star. Ooh, heart piece. I need one. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Two heart pieces, good lord. There. It's about time to add a second floor here. We're running out of room for stuff. No, I was just hoping that I would have found. Uh, would have found more uh, resources than I actually did. So. Uh, oh, sweet. Look at me. Hey. Look at me. Oh, sounds like a busy night. Whoops. Yeah, my oldest was torturing the dog. <laughs> <coughs> Whoa. How much damn silk and cobweb do I need to make silk? <coughs> Isn't there a loom or something that you need to? Oh, you might be right. Yeah. Maybe that's what's holding me back here. Ooh, golden chest. Ooh. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What do we got in here? Extractinator. Can be placed. Turn silt and slush into something more useful. Weird. I've got the item to summon the Eye of Cthulhu. Okay. Two little potions, flaming arrows, and my favorite, a stick of dynamite. Hmm. I just seem to recall blowing a big hole with those. Oh, yes. And I can take... Here you go, have some water. I don't know where this is all going, but... And another fucking heart piece. I'm almost up to 180 life right now. And you're getting eaten by bats. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was hitting the key to hit the spear, but um, apparently my uh, finger was on the wrong key, so... Oops. At least it's a fast way down. Yeah, yeah, that rope's really handy for that. Alright, the silver there. Wow. Christ. That fucking hurt. There's a poisoned arrow trap. Ouch. Although I do appreciate the fact that they added those. <laughs> I bet you would. Crunch that thing to bits, though. Dark trap. Look at that. And where's the... Or the pressure plate exception. There it is. Of course, as I go to investigate, a bat decides to show up. Gray pressure jump. Ooh, coffee. 
I'm finding quite a bit of stuff here. I guess that it's nighttime from the sudden influx of zombies into my mind. Yeah. There's a hundred of them. You gotta pay attention to your health. Yeah. It's mostly getting stuck with, uh. stuck in small holes with bats, so. I've got potions, it's not like I can't use them, it's just, uh. it slips my mind. And just like that, my inventory's full. Holy shit. Damn. <laughs> I oh, seem garbage. Doing mostly pointless things right now. I'd say that's about in keeping with Prairie's proud tradition. Oh, heart piece. Yay. There we go. Maybe that'll help with my survivability, though I doubt it. <coughs> there, I've marginally increased the safety of our initial exploratory shaft. Really fuck. Those bats really pack a wallop. Yeah. I noticed. <laughs> they will shove you right off a cliff. Oh, nice. Rubies. Yeah, those are handy. I think you can eventually use them to make uh, some kind of alternative to a grappling hook. I know you gotta collect the whole shitload though. I think that I. Yeah, I used up my last torch. Jesus. I'm getting poisoned left and right here. I kinda do appreciate that they put that in the game though. <laughs> Sneaky. Oh, there's a heart piece way over there. Oh, I think you're... Oh, you're making your way towards it right now. I'm down and to the right of you. Yep. Yeah, there's some gold right beside it. I'm looking at your stream right now. Kind of handy. This glowing mushroom forest land is going to be very handy. The 
if it's surrounded by sand, which is arguably the most difficult thing to mine for. Hmm. You know, there's got to be a way to do, um, set it up so, uh, you do like a POV. Oh, crap, what a boulder. Okay. Oh, I even saw that there. <laughs> I just didn't know what the hell it was. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get you. Project for the future is to do uh, uh, two streams, uh, same game, different point of views. Yeah, I'd actually considered that at first. Get one thing done at a time, make sure it works. It's the best way to do it. Alright, let's see what kind of cool shit I can make now. I can place that golden chest for additional storage. I have no idea what gem spark blocks are. Just handling something on a chat. Mm -hmm. You can't see the chat screen, right? Not on the on the on the stream. No, you can't. Okay, I good. can see the Twitch chat. Yeah, not not the Twitch chat. The um. In-game chat? No, I'm uh, IRC and stuff. People are bugging me because I'm still hopping in uh, BDI. So. Yeah, I can see BDI. I don't see anyone saying anything. No, uh, I'm talking about somebody's messaged me. So. Oh. Not a problem. Not a problem. I just wanted to make sure it didn't come up on the uh, stream. I have everything scrunched together very precariously. See, and just like that, I made a wood. Hmm. I'm gonna see how my wood frame, <coughs> my wood frame is yeah. producing at all. Uh, apparently, oh, there's a couple. It's really kind of arbitrary how it decides to grow. I'm gonna have to look up the recipe for a loom. And there's another, uh, another crafting item. It's like a workbench, and you can make advanced wood items with it. Don't ask me what that means because I don't remember, but they're advanced. Fuck this corruption, we should wall off the whole fucking biome. Hmm. Can you even do that? Hold on a sec. If you try hard enough, probably. <laughs> oh, there's certain mobs that can- okay, I'm right here. Fuck this shit. Certain mobs can pass through walls. All right, kicking back into it. All right, cover in the house and see what I need to make a loom. I managed to wall myself off down here with my platforms, so. Hmm. Okay, a loom is crafted at a sawmill. 
So sawmill first. Wood, two iron bars, and a chain. I think I have all of those things. Silver bars. Oh, the iron bars are in the chest. Grab those. We have exactly two iron How? bars. How? Ow! Hmm. Poison trap? Yeah, it's one of those darts. They hurt like hell. And I uh, set off several in a row, I think, so... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> But damn it, I got my heart piece. So there you go. That's all that matters. All right, yeah. sawmill. We are going to have to build another story to this house. Not a problem. Might be a problem. I'm out of wood. So hold on a sec. Well, I'm gonna set the sawmill outside for now. There. Well, you can build benches, bars, banquet tables, looms, kegs, weapon racks, mannequins. Dressers. Cool. Yeah, there's definitely some fancy stuff you can build in here. Nice. Room is easy enough to make. Now, what does the room allow? Silk. Hmm, need more silk. Oh no, I can make a bed. Perfect. That's all I need. Only make one. No, we should do, actually. Look at all this hospitable stuff. And just make this a workshop. Put the living quarters upstairs. Yeah. Flaming arrows, dirt blocks, what else can I throw away? Jesus, I've got so much stuff here. Don't need the wooden sword anymore. Holy fuck, I've got a lot of stuff here. An extractinator I still have to put somewhere. I don't even know what the hell one of those things are. And I have a full inventory almost. I got about five or six spaces left. Not a I got almost no room here. <coughs> Trying to figure out where everything is. I know I've got some walls left. Not enough, but some. I'm going to put this extractinator here. It looks cool. I don't know what the hell it does. Well, I've got some silt, I think, so I can try it out. Yeah. I'm going to bevel the corners. Nope. It really does improve the look, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Where do you want the stairs down? Oh, whatever. Just make it a two-block hole and put platforms there. Need something serviceable for now. I... It's hard to range out and get more wood because all the fucking corruption's there. Yep. I am lagging so hard. Yeah? Yeah. Well, yeah, I've got like about a zillion things running. <laughs> <laughs> My machine is fairly old, so... Yeah. I'm going to deforest the area here. Okay. There's a bunch of baby trees here I can eat up.
it's getting dark in there. All right. <clears throat> See what I can make. Make silk. Yeah, you're gonna want the silk make. to make a bed. Can make. Wow. Straining my eyes trying to read this shit. Hmm. I'm gonna try to farm some of this shade wood from the crimson. Okay. That looks pretty. I take a quick break here.
<laughs> all right, I'm back, and it looks like uh, everybody's AFK, which is uh, all right. Um, I know this isn't exactly the most thrilling stream. But One thing I do need to do is learn how to edit it down, so when I post stuff on YouTube, it will be uh, more manageable. All right. Go ahead and unload this. <sighs> Stone box. Okay. All right, I'm back. All right, welcome back. I just went ahead and dumped a uh, bunch of my extra resources into the wooden chest in there. Not that I had a whole lot, but uh, any good loot? Not particularly. I mean, bars, bars, bars. Oh, um, when you click quick stack, it'll automatically put whatever of your inventory matches whatever's in the chest. It'll just dump your inventory. Oh, okay. So if there's already a silver bar and you've got 20 more, it'll dump all 20 silver bars into the chest. Okay, that's cool. Good for when you've got everything nice and neatly organized. Now, it is morning, and I am going to make the daring attempt... Travel west beyond the crimson. Gathered a fair bit of supplies, including shade wood, which I would encourage you to get if you can. It's the uh, wood that comes out of the crimson. You use that to make a sword that does two damage more than the copper sword. Okay. Very useful. Got a slightly more badass icon, too. Be AFK for another couple minutes while I'm jacking with some stuff, and then I'll be out collecting more resources. Mm. And yeah, I understand how incredibly boring it is to watch a stream of uh, somebody sitting there by the chest for ten minutes straight. <laughs> <laughs>
I think I'm going to end up spending a lot of time uh, reading the uh, the wiki on this, um, trying to get a grasp on everything that's changed before the next time I try to do this. <laughs> yeah, there's lots to learn. Also, holy fuck! Oh, you oh shit! Me. Somebody is that you? Yes. Fucking gold was right there. Don't touch it. I'll grab it. Ah, uh, okay. Ugh. Yeah. Bam, man. <laughs> I used my recall potion to get here, and then a zombie casually walks up and just walks <laughs> in the head and kills me. I think it's about time to kill that thing, so... It is hostile as fuck out in the crimson, and I need material to make scaffolding so I can climb over these giant fucking hills. But every time I stop there, there's already a humongous mob trying to eat me alive. Unfortunately, I threw away all my dirt, and I don't suppose you've been... I have a ton of dirt. Give me a minute. Do you? Oh yeah. Oh, stone blocks. Here we go. We can use those. Yeah, I tossed some blocks in there. I've got like 400 dirt, so. Yeah, no, the stone will do me just fine. All right. In fact, I will make that into bricks just to be extra fancy. Because my goal is to head out west and make a little camp out there. Okay. There, 200 gray brick. Alright, time to head out west. It is hostile as fuck out there. I like the new sound effects they've added. You can hear the birds and everything. Oh yeah, I noticed a couple of those. Not, uh... It's really pretty. Definitely lends a lot of atmosphere to the game. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna it's try to have... Leroy my way through this uh, crimson section because if you hang around too long, all the mobs start spawning. Oh yeah. Just cut you apart. I'll let you handle that, and I'm just gonna go back into the mine. Oh. Can he fit through there? Yes, he can. And now he's trying to kill me. Alright, he's dead. Good. No. Ooh. Holy fuck, there's another one in there. Space bar isn't responding as quickly as I'd like. Oh, found a whole bunch of rope. I think I'm going to end up uh, probably having to wrap this up here soon. Yeah, no worries. So, Alright. Well, it's been fun, and I'll go ahead and uh, make sure that everything uh, gets... Is you mind if... Uh, <clears throat> I usually put the VODs up on YouTube. Yeah, go ahead. Alright, cool, cool. Um, Ooh, I got a blowgun. Yay. Alright. And uh, go ahead and see you guys later. Save an exit. Um, just wrapping up the broadcast.